Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Word Factory. Now as you know I'm more of a numbers guy than a word guy. However this is like a factory building puzzle game about words but in a slightly different way than you'd expect. So we'll start off picking save slot 3 because I'm a monster and then we'll just run through the tutorial. So basically we need to make an eye on this level. So that's got to end up at this point. On the right this is our like HUD area. So at the moment we've just got one of these factories and every factory only produces an eye because I am the most important part of this game. So all you've got to do is just draw from there up to where you want it to end up. And then if we press this play button in the bottom left, you'll see this produces eyes. They travel along the line and then they end up at the factory where they get shot over to this side. We fill up the 10 that we need. Jobs are good and Now this level you'll notice we got to we got to make a C. But the factories only make eyes, remember? So if we shove our factory there, we know that eyes are going to come out of it. But in order to turn them into a C, we need one of these things, a bender. No, not that guy. So we draw a line up to there. So we know the eyes will come out and go into the bender. Then from the bender, they'll go up to the seas. Because if you bend an eye, it becomes a C. So as usual, the right fills up. We complete the level. And then we're on to one where we need a V. How can we make a V from two eyes? Well, that's where this very, very efficient looking building comes in. Uh, this is called a merger. So if we go from there up to there and there up to there, it will merge two of these eyes into a V. So you can see eyes are going in v's are coming out because they're getting squished together at the bottom nice however what if you have this situation where you only have one factory making eyes at the bottom how are you going to get two in there well you literally just draw up and then you draw up again you can have multiple routes between factories so that is good to know so the eyes go in the v's come out we complete the level and then this time we're trying to make an l so if we put this merger up here we know if we put that in that's the straight up eye going in there in order to make the horizontal section we're gonna need to use this guy a rotator now uh, you can pick either side of the rotates on there so i've gone with the left one i uh, don't think it would actually matter in this situation but if the eyes go into there then from there they go up to this guy I'm going to assume coming out of there will be an L. So you can see vertical eyes go into this guy. They come out as horizontals. And when they enter the strongest building, L-shaped ones come out. Decent. So what if we want to make an O? Well, we know we can shove a factory at the bottom and then one of the benders. And that will make a C. So then if we shove our merger up there, we know a C going in. A C is like half an O, right? In order to make the other half, we need one of these. And this is called a reflector. Also looks sort of strong if you like tilt your head a bit so if we come out of this go into there and then out of this into that we should have a mirrored c so if we watch this you can see c's coming out there they go into this and they get flipped around and then when they get merged together we've created an o this is finally like a word game i understand with my stupid engineering brain so now we're past the tutorial we're left to fend for ourselves we've got to try and create an a so what i'm thinking we need one of those and then a merger because we know that that will make a v right so what i'm thinking after that we probably want a horizontal flip so if we go from there into there, then that should be an upside down V, right? So let's just test this is working. So the eyes go in, V's come out, and then they get flipped that way. Okay, decent. So next up, we need to attach the horizontal part. So if we start with another eye down here, we can then just use a rotator. And then if we connect all of that up to one of these, oh my goodness, look how big that thing is. Oh, there's different types. Okay, I've just realized there's different types. I probably want the top one. Yeah, because that allows two things to come in. So one from there, one from there, and then out the top, there should be A's if I've done this right. So let's watch on the right, which we haven't seen yet. The eyes go in, they get flipped. When combined with the upside down V, yes, we've made an A. A. Now, what I want to know though, could I have done this without that guy? So if we just stop and delete that, could I have done a third one out of here? Oh, I could. Okay, so if we play that, they all just come out this middle one. It's going to be a lot slower though, because I assume the more you add at the bottom, the faster it will make them, right? But that uses less buildings. Right, so this time it's a word up the top, ox. So let's start with the O. We know how to do that. We just, we have a bender, we have a mirror, and then we have the merger. So eyes go into the bender, some go straight up, some go into the mirror. And from the mirror into that thing and then into there up to the top. So if we press play, you can see the eye gets bent and then some go straight up, some go right where they get mirrored. Yeah, so that makes the O. We've done that. We learned that in the tutorial. How do we make an X though? We need to rotate 
but not fully. Because these two buildings, they only rotate 90 degrees. I'll tell you what, I feel like we need to do like a like a V and an upside down V and merge those. So to make a V, we needed two eyes going straight into there. That makes a V. So if we put another merger above above and then the vertical mirror earth. then one output can go straight up one can go into there and then back in so i think then we'll have a v and an upside down v that will merge together and that could be an x not entirely sure let's see what happens so the two eyes go in the v's come out that one gets flipped upside down yes when they merge they become x's oh decent so we're filling up the oxes on the right we've made our first word and at the end of each level you can see like how you've placed compared to others like buildings placed overflowed letters and cycles we got a very nice amount of cycles nice right so this time we're learning how to spell cat but not as you know it so we'll start with the c should be an easy one because it's just a bender like that and then that goes straight up to there sorted for the a can i remember how to do the a i think we just did a merger so an i goes into there i may as well take an i from that one as well so that creates a v doesn't it so we need a vertical flip and then we want a rotator coming from down here right and then that all combines into another merger. I think that makes an A. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to press play to make sure I'm doing this right. So left one makes a C. Yep. So we've got the horizontals. I for Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to draw the vertical. Let me just draw that in. So from here, the V goes in, gets flipped upside down. Yeah, that makes an A. Decent. We're nearly spelling cat. Words I never thought I'd be so excited to say. Anyway, for the T, we're obviously going to need a merger. In the middle, between the I and the merger, we're going to want one I to go straight up. For the other one, we I think we just need to rotate, right? And that makes a T. So if we watch this, the eyes go into there, get flipped. And then when they merge... Oh, no, that's an L. Oh, no, that's an L. That is literally an L as well. Oh, what if, what if we add, we add a right-hand flipper on this side? So we say go into there and put... Oh, no, we can't put that in. Oh, what we can do, let's delete that. We can use one of these bigger ones. So it's a three-way merger. So left side goes in, right side goes in, and the eyes go in. So does this make us a T? I feel like it should do, because we've got two horizontals. Oh, no, it's an F. Of course it's an F. F. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do we make a T? What if we rotate and then flip vertically? So they end up up there. We'll have the eyes going as well. Does that, does the flipping vertically like move it up? I don't think it does anything, does it? No, it still makes an L. I tell you what, what is a T? It's just two L's back to front, right? So if we know that that makes an L, we could just repeat this, but the inverse. So just so it's simple, I'll shove another one there, another one there. So that makes two L's, right? But they need to be upside down and mirrored. Well, or just mirrored vertically. And then merge those together. So if we do something like that, let's see if this works. So we got the eyes, they get rotated. Oh no, that oh I didn't. I made an equal sign. That's a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to make an L first. So, oh man, this is going to be, it's going to be a lot of work, I think. So to make an L, we need that. Let me just check. I'm not crazy. So yeah, that is an L. So that needs to be flipped vertically and then merged with another one. So if we delete that line, we can say flip vertically and then merge with another one. So we just got to do the same down here then. So that means one of them one of them. So we got all of those together. I've actually gone with the different rotator. So whether that will make a difference, not entirely sure. Let's see. No, I don't think it will. So we've got L's on both sides. Yes. Oh, we've made an F again. <laughs> it's a different way to make an F. Okay. I do actually think we're close though. If I, if I just move this over that way and then put a mirror of that direction in, we can say mirror those and then merge that. Does that make sense? Because we've got the different orientations of the L. So when that gets flipped, yeah, that's got to make a T. That's got to make a T. Yes, I made T. I made spiffing Brit and Biffa happy a and myself of course. So nice, we made the word cat. That was actually really hard. <laughs> really rewarding as well. Anyway, now it's time for some IV. So we can do that easily. I can I can make an I. Oh, I can make a V as well because a V, we've done, we've done that before. So two of those combined into one of those, that makes a V. And I feel like to make a Y, I just combine both of these together, right? So if we put those two down there, that above, merge them together, that makes our V. If we then combine that with an I, that will, that will make a Y. They probably sounds like I'm talking absolute gibberish, but look, we got a V, we merge it with an I, 
That makes a Y. How was Ivy after cat? Like, Ivy is such an easy word compared to cat. Oh, man, look how many buildings I place. Like, most people place, like, hardly any buildings. Right, if we just... Let's edit this. So, can I do this with just one of everything? So, I think we can probably do it with that, right? So, we say, you go into there. You go up to there. Then you go up to there. You go up to that. So I think that does the same job, but it just uses way less buildings. So let's see. Yes, Ivy. It's slower, but it's only three buildings. Now, by the way, the faster you do this, the more these things like ping out. Like, <laughs> how did you end up there? You meant to be down this side. Thankfully, they all count. And we're down with the cool kids using three buildings. Nice. So next up, we're building my future which is bald. Now, I think this one should be fairly easy, though. So I think we just need two Cs. Yeah, two Cs that have been mirrored. So both of them will make a C. We can mirror both of them, then add an I. So if we use a three-way merger, you go straight up, you go straight up, you go straight up. So I reckon that should make a B. Let's see, was I right? So we got two Cs. They get reversed. When they all get merged, yes, we have a B. Okay, to do the A, we just merge those to then merge that with an i so that makes an a sorted l is easy as well oh that was a rhyme because it's just straight i then a rotated one and then a d that's gonna be a mirrored c so we put the c in and then we mirror it like that and then merge that with an i look how many blooming buildings i've used beautiful this is like this is literally a word game for like engineers like i'm seeing letters as shapes now look there's the d the oh no i didn't make an a i made a y i can't spell so that's purely because i forgot to rotate so if we put a rotate in there then we can watch this i go in gets rotated now it's horizontal and then, oh, no, I need to... Oh, we've made a question mark. <laughs> I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Let's move this up. Delete that one. That's got to be mirrored vertically. Man, see, it's always harder than you first think. Yeah, so now if we watch that, we make a V. It gets flipped vertically and then merged with the horizontal eye. Oh, man, I really underestimated how simple this would be. But nice, we made a bald man. It looks like Carl Pilkington. We used 24 buildings. You can do it in 11. Anyway, I quite like my layout, so we're not going to do that. Oh, so this is a challenge level. Challenge levels restrict what buildings you are allowed to use. Oh, no. So yeah, there are different ways to make the same letter as we found out earlier with like f's and stuff that we didn't mean to make so we don't have a mirror of that direction oh okay is that gonna be a problem oh no we've only got one rotatey is that one of each kind yeah okay one of each kind i'm gonna start off with the i because that's easy uh then what about the p so the p is gonna be hang on let's get rid of that we need some space the p is gonna be a vertical i and then a reversed c so if we have those three in a line I think that should make a C and then merge into those. So you go into there, you go into there. I reckon this should make a P because we got a C that gets curled that way. And then, oh, it made a D, didn't it? It made a D. How do you make a D a P? I think I know. I think I know. What if I, hang on, let's just make some space for ourselves. Let's move all this stuff down. But what if we do that? So we got the reverse C going in and then two I's going in. Because then in my head, that's like taller. So that should make, like it should make a D and then stick that underneath. That's an R. How is that an R? That should be a P. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. Perhaps, perhaps it's this. So we've got the reverse C. If we merge that with a normal C, we know that will make an O, won't it? So out of here will come O's. So if we shove an I on the bottom of an O, that's like, that's how kids draw P, isn't it? As in, as in the letter. That's right, we got the C's merge into O's. So does that make, it makes a Q. How is that a Q? Why is P so hard to make? All right, I'm going to have a think about that. Let's let's come back to it. We'll try, let's try making, I think we can make a V pretty easily. So I'm going to start from the top. So I'm going to want an I, so that can go up there. Then I'm going to want a V, so that can go into there. So we just merge those all together. So I think that's made a Y. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got the X to go. So the X was a V, which is that. And then a vertical mirrored one. However, look, we don't have the vertical mirrored thing. So if we just connect all these together, we're making two sets of Vs that we're going to need to merge up there. But we need to flip this one vertically. Uh, we've only got one rotate and one horizontal mirror. So I reckon we probably, if we rotate first, so go in there, rotate, and then flip it that way. That should work. Because I think coming out of here will be, wait, will it? I, d I don't know what's going to come out of here, actually. The more I think about it, the less, I, the less I'm obvious. So we've got a left arrow. 
if, oh no if we just move that out the way to make space so what if we then flip it that way after it's been mirrored that should end up in the right orientation right because it's been mirrored so v goes in we've got a right arrow come out then a left arrow and then it gets flipped it's an up arrow Yes, that's how you make an X. Okay, we're good. We just got to try and make a P. What if instead of all of that, what if we do like a three-way merger there? So the O goes in. So the C and the back to front C go in as well as that all at the same time. Will that make a P? So I's, back to front C's, C's. No, oh, it's still a Q. Okay, so it doesn't matter when you order stuff. I think these are just to reduce the number of buildings you have total. How do I make P? What if we do the mega merger and add another I? It's sort of how I made the D earlier, but it might be different because it's a circle rather than a C. And I'm just, I'm just, I just realized I called an O a circle. Sorry. Oh, I made another Q. How is that a Q? How am I meant to make a... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, oh, my head just clicked. My head just clicked. Like, not in a bad way, in a good way, in a good way. So how did we make a D? We, we, we just see, blah. I'm panicking, I'm panicking because I've worked out. I think I've worked out. So if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, combining that with an I, so that is a reverse C with an I. That makes a D. Yeah. Look what a P is. It's a D with a with an I on it. So if we just delete that, shove another merger in, and then the I goes up, you go over there, so that these two go in there. That should be a P. I think I've made a P. I think I've peed. Please, please, please. Have I peed? I've peed. Yes, I peed. <laughs> I use like more buildings than anyone, I think. <laughs> anyway, now we've unlocked a whole host of words. Um, it's worth noting as well in the full game. This is just a demo, by the way. You will be able to type your own word to try and make as well. But yeah, that was a super, super fun little game. A different way to play a word game. More for an engineer's brain, a numbers guy rather than a word guy. But yeah, I like that. Very cool. Right. Anyway, guys, peace, love and words. Bye.